Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I am going to show you how you can share files from Windows 10 to Kali Linux and from Kali Linux to Windows 10. So let's get started. The very first thing is that you have to log in as a root user within the Kali Linux. So how to check it? Simply you can just simply open up the terminal. You can see that I'm logged in as a root user. If you are not logged in as a user, you have to log in as a root user. Here is how you can log in. So you can see that if you have to type that with the, the default user uh, and password for Kali Linux is Kali and Kali. Uh, so when you are logging as Kali, when you are logging in as a uh, user called Kali, basically the sharing won't work. Although if you are again, if you are logging as a root user within the terminal, again, it won't work because I tested it. It gave me several error. Uh, I recorded several times of videos again and again, it gave me error. So in the end, I did uh, change the password of the root user and login. How I change? Here is how I did. So type down there sudo this su and then type down Kali. So now you can see that you are logged in as a root user. So you have to change the password of the Kali, uh, the, uh, the root password I mean. You have to type p a double s w d and then press enter. Now you have to type down the password. I'm going to type pass123. Sorry, I did wrong. P A double S one two three and on exclamation mark yes so you can see now the password has been changed for the root user now I'm going to log out of here and then uh, log in as the root user within the call Linux so this is the method that you have you need to learn this thing so root pause one two three and one exclamation mark yes so now you can see that I am logged in as a uh, root user within the Kali. So the second thing is that you need to check the IP of the both operating system Windows 10 and Kali Linux. So uh, to check it as one to check it simply open terminal uh, and then type if config remember inside the Kali Linux that is if config inside Windows that is IP config. So you can see okay, uh, now you can see the IP address is 192.168.137.134 So the class you need to check these three first class if they are the same it means they are on the same network If they are not then you need to bring them on the same network So inside Windows 10 you need to go ahead and do the same thing So open CMD and then type IP config so you can see that 192.168.137.128 So it is basically totally fine and they are on the same network So the next thing is that you need Inside so Windows I recommend you This is not necessary but I recommend you So you need to change the uh, computer name So open run dialog box and then type there Type down there sysdm.cpl is going to open the system properties uh, choose change and you have to change the computer name from here okay this is this will require a uh, resource so I already did is Windows 10 you can see that so the next thing is that uh, is that you need to change uh, you need to share a folder within the Windows 10 so to share a folder uh, I'm going to create a folder by the name of shared yes shared so right click on it and choose properties choose sharing choose advanced sharing choose uh, share this folder and their permissions and from here you have to choose here is a group called everyone if you are on an IT in an IT environment uh, you have a specific uh, group that you want to share a folder or a directory or a files whatever just you need to add that group if that was not available so you have basically since now I'm performing it for a YouTube tutorial so I'm going to choose everyone and then choose uh, allow the full control in any case if uh, any everyone is not available or in any case if you are in an in IT environment you need to simply basically type the name of the group here and it will this will appear so for instance everyone and then apply and okay apply okay 
now this folder has been shared but we need to do a bit of security stuff so you can see here is not everyone uh, we need to add everyone within the security group to grant access them to access this folder within the call Linux so choose add and then type EV and then check names everyone is appeared okay and now I'm going to access this one to modify uh, okay now apply and okay and close okay now the folder called shared has been shared to check if the folder has been shared or not in Windows simply open CMD and type down net share you can see that this many folders has been shared this is basically uh, I tried them over and over to uh, show you how you can do it so you can see here is the color with the folder which I just shared shared folder also you can simply type net user to find out how many users are within your computer so you can see here is a boss and the role is an administrator and you can see that the user account is windows 10 it means the computer name is win 10 so remember that you need to change this one it will be good so the second thing is that you need to enable network discovery and file sharing within the windows 10 so right click in the network here and then uh, choose a network and sharing center from there you have to choose change advanced settings uh, from here you have to choose all networks and you have to enable turn on sharing and then use 120 bit 128 bit encryption and finally you have to turn off the password protection so once you did simply save changes and click ok now the next thing is that within the linux you have to go ahead and uh, you have to install a very specific tool although within the call linux version 2020.24 it is already available but if you are using an older version this may not be available you have to install this one so the fall uh, the tool is called cifs utils so you need to install this one if i have to basically copy this command and paste it within the call linux uh, the terminal you will see that it is saying saying that the file is already available but if you are looking for an update uh, it is already the newest version you can see here so if it's already the newest version so there is no need to do anything with it so the next thing is that uh, we need to basically mount the folder we just share shared within the windows 10 so uh, i'm going to create a new folder within the linux uh, in the desktop uh, the folder should be called how about uh, Mm, file sharing i'm also going to copy this name and choose create so the folder has been created as the name of file sharing okay this is the command we need uh, this is how you can mount the shared folder of the windows 10 within the call linux you can see that mount.cifs here is the windows 10 uh, and the folder which you just shared i think that was uh, shared shared yes, yes, is also is small so you can see shared it is location of, of the shared folder on the network and here is the root desktop file it is basically the Linux so you can see it is the root and then here is the desktop you can see and then the folder is called sharing so I'm going to paste instead of file control V file sharing and then the ID user is basically Kali the user which I'm logged in by the name of Kali but as a root uh, access so i have to copy this command uh, and copy and paste it here paste selection and press enter now it is asking for the password you can see so you have to type the password of the car uh, the root user you just changed a minute ago so now you can see that <coughs> i am logged in <coughs> now you can see that i am logged in uh the, the basically the file has been shared so nothing has happened but if I, I have to open the file sharing you can see that nothing is here if i have to go ahead in windows 10 if i have to um, basically um, bring some changes in it in other words add some file here like a text file like hello kali in other words maybe i can add a photo how about a screenshot control x cut uh, go back 
again back okay the folder is shared called okay now the screenshot has been shared both of them now let's go ahead within the call linux refresh this folder you can see both are available you can simply type whatever control s save and close this one you can also open up the photo and if you come inside windows 10 you will see that the uh, editing which the linux user has did is now available here too so this is how you can simply share files between the call linux and windows 10 from uh, windows 10 to call linux so if you think that this video is helpful please do not forget to subscribe this channel share the video with your colleagues or social media or whatever so till next time have a nice time and goodbye